that person is moral or immoral. So, the classical Indian world, by very definition, and you know in Sanskrit we choose the words, when you define something, you choose it very carefully. It's not just one odd word. And it is not a word which has been in practice, because a particular Shastra, in this case the Kama Sutra, the Kama Shastra from which I read out the lines to you in Sanskrit, is using the word Prakriti, Tritiya Prakriti, the third nature. So, this is the primary difference between the biblical attitude towards sodomy, which is considered to be a sin, and the Hindu view that here the question of sin doesn't arise because the person cannot do anything else except that. Because he's, he, he, it's, it's nature to him or her. Right? This is the definition. Now, of course, from here don't jump to other conclusions. You know? We go slowly and slowly. So much for definitions of the Africa. But now the question arises that if you are not going to look upon them as something unnatural, as something immoral, then what are you going to do with them? The the issue that comes up is before the Dharma Shastras or the ancient texts or the Kama Sutra is very simple. Given that they have this nature, what position, what situation, what location are you going to give them in the social system? See, this is the next step. If you're not going to penalize them, if you're not going to punish them, now I can, I don't want to take time on this, but let me tell you that there are many, many texts which say very clearly that they are not only not to be persecuted, but if anybody persecutes them, insults them, tortures them, then there is a punishment for it. For instance, I mean, I first of all want to give you the so-called liberal attitude, I mean, today's word liberal. It's not really liberal, as I explained to you right at the beginning, that the Indian attitude is recognizing the factual and then going on to define as to what should be the place for such people in society. 